OBGYN sued for allegedly decapitating baby during delivery, then attempting cover-up. Y'all, this story gets wild the longer it goes on. But let's continue. A Georgia couple have filed a lawsuit after they said their baby was decapitated during delivery, which the hospital and doctors then allegedly covered up. Jessica Ross, 20 years old, and her longtime boyfriend, Trayvon Isaiah Taylor, were excited for the birth of their first baby, a boy whom they were going to name Trayvon Isaiah Taylor Jr. According to Lynch, the two were regularly seeing Dr. Tracy L. St. Julian at Premier Women OBGYN who then performed a delivery at Southern Regional Medical Center in Riverdale, Georgia, south of Atlanta. The lawsuit accuses St. Julian, the doctor, of failing to follow emergency obstetrical protocols when the baby's shoulder became stuck during an attempted vaginal delivery. Instead, she allegedly applied excessive force that killed the baby as his head was severed from his body. Let's continue. The doctor, hospital, and unnamed staff are accused of then attempt attempting to hide what had happened by not immediately allowing the couple to see their child's body. According to the lawsuit, Ross was at, admitted into the emergency room on July 9th after her water broke at 10 a.m. and she was fully dilated by 8 40 p.m. During labor, the baby became stuck in the vaginal canal, prompting Ross to push for three hours without delivery, according to the lawsuit. The lawsuit accuses St. Julian of not taking proper actions to reposition the baby, nor taking action as the baby's oxygen levels and heart rate dipped. Eventually, the baby's head was decapitated from his torso and St. Julian only then made the decision to conduct a C-section, according to the lawsuit. The baby's legs and torso were delivered via the C-section, however, the head was delivered vaginally. According to the lawsuit, attorneys, according to the lawsuit, uh, attorneys told reporters on Wednesday that hospital staff wrapped the baby's head tightly in a blanket and only allowed the parents to see it behind glass, y'all. This part is really, really, really sad, okay? Just bear with me. Let's get into it. In an attempt to basically misrepresent and miscommunicate to the family, when they wrapped this baby up tightly, they propped the baby's head on top of the blanket to make it appear that it was attached when it wasn't. Dr. Roderick Edmond, who was also representing the family, said, in the following days, the medical care providers discouraged the couple from getting an autopsy and instead encouraged them to cremate their son's remains. The lawsuit said, Lynch told reporters that the hospital and staff did not report the death to Clayton County Police, though the funeral home did. The couple were finally told about their son's decapitation on July 13th by St. Julian after Ross was discharged from the hospital, according to the lawsuit. They did everything in their power to not let the family know what actually happened on that day, and it's unfortunate. The Clayton County Police Department confirmed on social media that it has opened an investigation into the hospital's failure to report the infant's death. The lawsuit seeks damage for negligence, fraud, and intentional infliction of emotional distress we're going to get a little bit into who exactly this doctor is that was operating on them okay um and as we know her name is dr tracy saint julian or julian uh, who specializes in women's health and pregnancy care works as a medical professional in riverdale georgia with an impressive track record spanning over 26 years she brings extensive experience to her role in the medical field uh, field she is highly experienced professional in the field of obstetric care bringing a wealth of knowledge to her practice her journey in medicine began with her graduation from the university of texas medical branch at Galveston in 1996 where she laid the foundation for her exceptional medical expertise with a deep commitment to providing top-tier health care Dr. St. Julian or Julian is affiliated with esteemed medical institutes um, institutions namely Piedmont Fayette Hospital and Southern Regional Medical Center okay so the reason why I'm bringing that up is just so you know who this lady is and know that she's not some newbie you know what i mean she's been doing this for over 26 years so she's not just some random 
who was just like, okay, I'm gonna just do this. And I'm a new, I'm a new doctor. You know, she's been doing this for a while. So I can see, I mean, obviously we're going to have lawsuits. We're going to have lawsuits from, um, the parents, um, Trey, uh, Trayvon, a uh, Taylor, and then we're going to have it from the mother as well. Um, then I can possibly see, ah, uh, you may, there may be some other digging in her past if this is what's going on, you know? Um, and then obviously the nurses in the hospital, but the hospital was trying to cover their boot by saying like, oh, well, you know, the doctors and nurse, I mean, they're like contract employees. I mean, you can't really sue us, but I think they may be getting sued too. Okay. I could see millions of dollars being given to these people because of this terrible, terrible act. Hey, I greatly appreciate if you could support me. Simply go to ebay.com in the search bar, type in Latrice Limited, click on shops and then support me. I have a wide variety of items on there, many of my own personal Latrice Limited items such as candles, bath bomb soaps, essential oil blends, lingerie robes, so much stuff. I even have men's ties and comic books on there. Definitely support me and do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.